thunder, lightning, wildfires, acid rain, a deadly virus. Yay! What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi. So I want to tell you the story of the time I managed to get in to an iHeartRadio penthouse party. Now, this was back, way, way back, when I was doing tech support for Apple. And I worked in the late shift, and I had to wait for one of my friends who, who would drive home. And so I was working all day, and so I worked right next to the iHeartRadio building. All the time, I'd get to go and see all the, the, the branded vans, all the bands, all the just the interesting stuff that would come in and out of the iHeartRadio building because like it was always something cool and music related and I love music. So I was always like super jealous of just everything happening there that wasn't happening where I was working at and it was just, it was just fun to watch. So one day I get to work and there are a like bunch of branded vans unloading a just awesome music equipment outside of the vans and loading it up into the iHeartRadio building. You know, they were unloading like amplifiers, guitar amps, loudspeakers, microphones, big rack units, all sorts of stuff. If it went in a music production, it was probably coming off of that truck. And so I was like looking at it and I was like super jealous the entire time because I'm like, oh my God, what's happening? This is so cool. I got to be a part of this. But of course, you know, I wasn't gonna because it was, you know, I don't work there. That's really all it came down to. So I just got to kind of watch it from the sidelines as I go about my day, you know, taking breaks, eyeball in the van and just checking it out. So end of shift, I uh, managed to get off the phones and I start waiting in the lobby for my friend who I need to take home. I'm chilling. There's kind of like a lot more people outside than usual because, you know, there's a thing going on at the iHeartRadio station. So, you know, of course there's going to be people. And this one dude comes up to me and he's like, here, dude, have a ticket for a free beer. It's happening at the iHeartRadio party. And I'm like, dude, I wasn't invited to this. I'm only 20. I can't even drink yet. And he's like, dude, 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 shut up. Go to the party, get a drink. What, what are you? What are you? What are you doing? Saying no to something like this? And he so he hands me the ticket and walks off. And he's just like, I'm gonna, I'm going home. I'm, I'm, I need to do that or whatever the hell. So now I have this ticket for a free beer at a party I'm too young and not invited to go to. So I'm like. Oh God, oh God, oh God, what do I do? Because like, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. I've been like, kind of like dreaming of this all day. Like I really wanted to know what the party was and wow, I get a no. Now, now it's happening to me. I just got invited to the party. So I, I suck up, suck it all up. And I'm like, oh, everything bad could happen, but I don't care. I gotta go to a party. And I make my way up to the iHeart radio building. And normally this place is like heckin' locked down. You know, there's, they have these little key card badges that you gotta like scan to get in. And everything was open. Front door wide open and every other door on the inside wide open for me to walk in through. And so I did. I was super nervous. Everyone I looked at was just like, you know, there for the party. And I was just like, I'm here. Yep. <laughs> and so it was super nerve wracking. I make it through the long corridor of just things and I end up at the beer lady table. And so I'm like, um, um, I have this ticket. One beer, please. <laughs> and she's like, hmm. Hmm. Okay, here you go. Enjoy the party. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. She told me to enjoy the party. I have a beer. I none of this should be happening, but it is. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What do I do? Ah! And so all uh, that's happening in my head, of course. You know, I just smile and say, thank you, <laughs> and go wander off deeper in the party. And following my ears, I go follow the music, which is coming from 
this the 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 penthouse because the ticket said like the penthouse party and so i make my way over to the music and it is just a whole freaking rap concert going on just straight up no idea who it was but all i know is everyone was doing that like heckin halftime bop that you do to really good music and the whole place was just popping and everyone was having a good time it was such a trip such a trip because i was not supposed to be there i was just some nerd who got off work early and all of a sudden i get invited to a freaking party so basically the first party i ever got invited to and i wasn't even supposed to be there so I go in and I'm just like having a good time, vibing. Of course, I'm taking a ton of videos so I can share it all with my friends. Just be like, I went to a party. Ah! And like, oh my gosh. So, and then of course, you know, the thing had an upstairs where you could get on the roof. And so of course, of course, of course, I go upstairs and I'm just like, holy crap. Look at the view of the city. I, there's, there's nowhere else I can actually get upstairs and yet here I am looking out into the city at a party I'm not supposed to be at and I was just I was just mind blown and it was it was so cool all of a sudden my phone rings and just like reality hits me again because I'm like oh crap I was supposed to give someone a ride home. Um, um, what do I do? And so I answer it and he's just like, dude, where are you? You were supposed to, supposed to give me a ride home. And I'm like, I'm at the I Heart Radio party. And he's like, what? You're at the party? Oh my, how did you get into that? And I'm like, oh man, I'll tell you, I'll tell you when I get down. I'll tell you when I get down. And, and so of course, you know, the, the, I mean, I feel like really kind of awkward at the party wasn't supposed to be there not really old enough to drink i couldn't even like drink my alcohol because i still need to drive home and just like uh, this wasn't really my party it wasn't wasn't for me so i'm just like all right i'll head out this was a super cool experience i'm a bail and so i stick the beer in my bag and i head downstairs and i meet my buddy out in the parking lot and he's just like Dude, I can't believe you went to the I Heart Radio party. Are you freaking insane? And I'm like, a little bit. But here's why. Some dude gave me a ticket for a free beer. And I like slowly pull out the freaking, you know, cheap beer I got. And he's just like, dude, what? You're only 20. And I'm like, I know. And so, you know, take him home. I tell all of my friends, you know, post it on my Snapchat, post it on, oh God, what did I have back in the day? Tumblr or something? You know, I post it everywhere. Just like, I went to an epic party. Yeah, look at me being awesome. And, oh my God, best, best experience of my life was just getting weirdly into a party that was just, it wasn't, it wasn't the best party ever. I've, I've been to better parties since, but it was so cool. It was so friggin' cool. Just, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I don't even know where the video is anymore. It's like three phones ago and I, uh, cloud backups didn't even exist back then. So yeah, that's the story of the time I went to iHeartRadio and just vibed. <laughs> So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.